rumors have swirled for the past decade. Like legends have been told about a new electric car. And this is, this is an electric car full of tech from one of the biggest companies in the world. That would be Apple and their Apple electric car, which never was given a name, an official name anyway. But the promise of that car now looks to be dead. So Apple's internal project name, Project Titan, which gives you an idea of what they thought about how big this was. <laughs> <laughs> their internal name definitely screams this is world changing, is never going to see the light of day as of yesterday. Uh, this is a project that's been in the works since 2014. So 2014 to 2024, the target release date of this car was originally going to be 2028. So they put in a lot of time, a lot of effort, and I guarantee you a massive amount of money that we'll never ever hear about. But I'm guessing billions in, in research into this. Uh, we, we've heard all kinds of rumors a, across the past decade with recently, it's just as, as last year, talking about manufacturing partners. There was BMW was mentioned. I think Hyundai was mentioned. We've heard a bunch of like partners in this thing to help them build out this car. They never happened. We never heard any more about it. They were just that rumors. So apparently it's not that they couldn't build a car. It turns out that there's just not the right amount of profit in building a car for Apple. They have such high margins, and we know they do on their stuff, that they just couldn't get the price point with the price that they're going to make it for, for the price they can sell it for. So they're just not going to build it. Um, this is going to affect um, the people, the staff, obviously, that work on this project. So this is about 2,000 people. Some are going to move to AI projects, which I'm all about because we need some Apple AI um, this year, hopefully. Um, and others are going to be laid off. I'm guessing people who are in kind of hardware in the car that maybe don't have anything else related to Apple are probably going to, going to get laid off. I guess here. We don't know how many that's going to be or where those, you know, where those, where those are coming from. Um, did I want an Apple car? Yes. Would I have spent $100,000 on an Apple car? Probably not. Because I bet you that's like the price point that it would have come in. That's the rumored kind of price point. They were going for high end, not, um, you know, they were going for like a Tesla Roadster, not Tesla you know, um, uh, Model 3, right? They weren't going for the $40,000 car. They were going for the six-figure car. Um, so would I bought one? Probably not. It's kind of out of my price point, I think, for a car. But Paul, what do you think about this? Do you think Apple dropping this project like affects them in any way as a larger company? I don't, I don't think so. To be honest, I was like, I thought it was a dumb idea to begin with. <laughs> I mean, the concept of having an Apple car and just being what the hell would it be that was like the only exciting part. It's like, what would it do? Like, what would it be? But, you know, would I have one? No. Would I spend 100 grand on it? No. And I think it's like, I just never took him seriously. I thought it was like a marketing thing. And the fact that they worked on it for 10 years and then they're going to cancel it. It's just like, um, yeah, it's like, it's like them building a, like, to, to be honest, if they build a refrigerator, they would be like much more in line. You know what I mean? It's like smart refrigerator. Like, but moving to a car market, it's like um, such a niche thing. Like, like outside of the kind of like what the hell is it going to be factor and people wondering like the mystery behind the car. Like, I don't think it's like, you know, I mean, like, yeah, it's just, it's silly. Um, I don't think they should have even considered building a car because this is the money they could have spent on AI and AR, like more, you know, and build more cooler things that consumers would have used. Because even if they did build the car, like just the fact the price range, and the fact, it's still going to be such a minority of people that are going to buy it. If anybody going to buy it, that, that makes no sense. You know, yeah, that's, yeah, that's I think my thought. Hundred thousand dollar price tag. I mean, you're competing <laughs> with Mercedes, Porsche. You know, all of those other brands that have way better track record than does the Apple car. Is it going to work well? Right. It's also it's. I think it's like I think Elon said this. It's easy to make a car. It's hard to make them at scale. And uh, I think that's the manufacturing was one of the, he, he thinks the toughest engineering problem they had was just trying to make a lot of them at once. He's seen that with the cyber truck and he's, you know, for the longest time it was hard to even get those things off the, the line. And we're Ford and all this other brands that are just doing it for years. I think that's why we heard the rumors about partners is my guess. Yeah. The, the partnership was the part where they're going to do the manufacturing. Right. Um, Apple was going to bring the technology and the ideas and they were going to try and partner with somebody to actually do the manufacturing part because yes, um, that is clearly the problem. That's the problem that Tesla has. I mean, even today, the, the Cybertruck was delayed by so long because of manufacturing issues and it's still not perfect today. There were stories just this last week of them rusting. So <laughs> yeah. it's like they've still not made the perfect <laughs> car, right? 
Is it really rust? I hadn't seen. I, I've saw yeah, that. Apparently, but it's stainless yeah. steel. It's not supposed to. Well, work. it's not. But there's no coating on it. Apparently, so oh, okay. It's I don't know. I I guess it can rust. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> to me, it was just like sound, like just never made sense because it's an assembly saying like Lenovo could make a car or right. any other laptop manufacturer phone, slash phone. It's like what are you doing? You're like spreading yourself too too thin. Stay in your lane. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, if we still maybe. don't have. Apple AI on our phones yet to the level right. we should have. If they only redirected their money, <laughs> you know. Well, so, now they are. They they're taking all the money from the uh, Titan project and pouring it into AI instead. Yeah, which was what they should have been doing anyway. I think. So, right. so do you think this has? Does this have any effect on a bigger EV market? Do you think the the news that Apple now is no longer making a car is that because of EV news, or does it have an effect on EVs? What What do you think? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. I think the people that are making EVs are going to continue to make them. Obviously, Ford's scaling theirs back. They're not taking off in the U.S. at the scale that Ford needs it to do. They're scaling yeah. back their cars. The biggest thing, I think, for Apple, and just reading this article that we read, and a lot of articles said they just couldn't get the autonomous driving to work at the level they wanted. Yeah. And I think Apple being Apple said, well, if it can't drive itself, what are we doing? Everyone's right. got an electric car. Like, that's not yeah. what we're here to do. And they just figured that, okay, this might take us another $10 billion or $20 billion. What, what are we? And I, I imagine they get pressure from investors and like, what are you guys doing, man? Like, how much money are you going to spend on this? Just True. like even Zuckerberg had to scale back his VR plans, you know, like yeah. Metaverse, like, okay, can we? And he did. He fired some people and scaled back. And yep. I think I'm also imagining, though, that they did get something out of this. I'm imagining 100%. that there is there's definitely some R and D like tech in here that we're going to see in other places that isn't necessarily the car. My guess is CarPlay probably came out of this project. Yeah, um, and, even though uh, it's yeah. been you know that's been in the last decade. My guess is that came out of this as a stopgap, um, a section within there that came out of this. There's probably other tech too that we've seen in maybe other devices even that came out of this this division that like oh we're going to put that in the car but we can also put it here. So I don't think it's a total, total loss, but I'm guessing the majority of it is a loss. And I would say, although we're never going to find out, I'm sure, it has to be billions of dollars. We know R&D is so expensive when you're doing this cutting edge stuff with 2,000 right. people running your mind. Right. To be, uh, to be honest, they should have not went as epic as an uh, Apple Titan car. They should have started like one wheel or like a little <laughs> bicycle. <laughs> a bike. Little, little, I would, uh, to, be, to be honest, like a scooter. Apple like scooter, I would Maybe. get one for sure. Peloton, yeah. Maybe Apple Peloton. you might not be wrong. <laughs> yeah, the Peloton, right? Yeah, that's like I could definitely. I mean, not that I would buy it because I love my Nordic track, but I could totally see an Apple like treadmill or um, exercise bike or something like that. Like, I think that makes way more sense than like a full on car. Yeah, maybe that's something we see. Um, I got to say, like the, the the EV market in the US in general is kind of interesting. So. I owned an EV for, what was it, two years? I think I had it for, it might have even been 18 months or so, and I got rid of it. And the reason I got rid of it is, so I owned, I owned a Volkswagen ID4. And, the, and so the reason I got rid of it was because both my wife and I worked from home and we had two cars sitting in the garage that weren't moving anywhere. <laughs> I was like, we need, we need to sell one. It's stupid having two cars sat in the garage. It's just such a waste. Like, why are we doing this? So I was like, we need to sell one. And we have a gas car and an electric car. And we had a, to make a choice can we go all electric? And I felt like at this point in time, you just can't really go all electric. It's just the infrastructure isn't there. The, the, mm -hmm. like the road trip like ability just isn't there as it is with a gas car. Um, so we made the decision to get rid of the electric. Um, now, I'm thinking about another, a new one at this point, and I would go plug-in hybrid. I think that's the sweet spot yeah. in the middle because like, you get the like the run around town you don't have to keep filling up with gas it'll do like 30 40 miles on the on the battery um but if you're going on a road trip you also get the the comfort that you can just stop at a gas station right. and fill right. it up. um yeah, i don't think I, us is ready for electric i i want a hybrid for my next car like if if jeep grand cherokee makes a hybrid like i am all about it nice see they do. That, that's they my next car in one yep they definitely that's my do. next car i love my jeeps um but I, what I, you were saying, oh man, dang it. I just lost it. Um, but with, oh, the electric, did you see all of the news? Like when it was super cold this winter and a lot of those electric cars couldn't charge and people were stuck places yes. because it was too cold for the electric cars to charge like that, that alone, like 
I'm out for electric cars. I'm not getting stuck anywhere. Yeah, yeah if you're that's a problem in the Midwest. It's a problem. Northeast, it's a problem. You yeah. know, down here in the South in North Carolina, probably not as much. I mean, we'll have a cold snap, but I would imagine very rarely is it below 20. Yeah, but if you're so, in Chicago, it's a problem. It's a right. problem. <laughs> you, know, you know, the other thing, too, that I laughed at, we, we were at a gas station the other day, and it was just pouring the rain down. And where I have, they have Tesla chargers, and none of them are covered. And I was at this thing called a sheets, and I was like, you know, pumping my my dirty gas into my car <laughs> while it's not raining. And this poor schlubs out there was this Tesla in the pouring rain trying to charge the electric car. <laughs> Which, that is kind of weird, isn't it? Why aren't yeah. they covered? You're right. None of them are covered. No that, is, idea. that is a strange thing. Maybe it that's something seems like come along it could kill you. But like, you know. Right. So. <laughs> oh, I didn't think that. <laughs> I know it won't, but like, you know. <laughs> but you're right. Water, electricity. Yeah. Generally, yeah. they're a mix, do they? <laughs> yeah. 